I got out I had all this to deal with. I was just trying to get my funds out to pay my bills. And I couldn't get it out. When a single mom came home to Pinellas Park after a hospital stay for heart failure, she found a financial nightmare waiting for her. Yeah, she discovered that her online homemade gift shop had been sued in federal court by country music superstar Luke Combs. And worse, the judge had already ruled against her, ordering her to pay Combs $250,000. Desperate for answers she couldn't get on her own, she turned to Better Call Bankin. Jen Keith, in Florida, like in most states, the law requires that you're formally served a lawsuit in person by a process server. That is no longer the case in Illinois, and Nicole Harness was served through an email that went to her junk mail folder. This is Ghostface. Nicole Harness's only job is selling homemade tumblers and t-shirts through Amazon. She's a big Luke Combs fan and says after she went to his concert in Tampa this summer, she decided to offer a Luke Combs themed tumbler. After selling just 18 of them, she learned Combs sued her along with various others for selling counterfeit merchandise. The worst part, the case is already closed and the judge ordered her to pay $250,000 to Combs. It's very stressful. I don't have money to pay my bills. I just want this resolved. I'm not, I didn't mean any harm to Luke Combs. I quit selling the tumbler. I pulled it down. Um, I, I just, I don't understand. So how much money did you make on the tumbler that's in question? $380. So $380. Correct. And you're willing to give him that money. Exactly. The 250 grand. I don't have. Nicole tells me the notice went to her junk email. This judgment essentially shuts down her livelihood. As part of the lawsuit, Amazon has frozen all of her proceeds, about $5,500. She's free to keep selling merchandise, but all of the profit will go toward this judgment until the $250,000 is paid off. I looked at the lawsuit with attorney Matt Winder, who is not associated with this case. He called this a cautionary tale for anyone selling homemade products online. So I'm surprised and I am sympathetic to this poor woman that, you know, is probably just trying to provide for herself. Uh, but the law can be very harsh. And frankly, to find that in Illinois they're now allowing email service, this may be the test case for why that shouldn't happen. Um, I certainly encourage her to communicate with the court and tell her side of the story. Meanwhile, Nicole is hopeful that if Combs hears about this, he might accept her apology and cut her a break on the fine. I would tell him I'm sorry. Um, like I said, I didn't mean any harm. I'm, I'm a supporter of Luke Combs. I respect him. This is not something I meant to go wrong like this. I just want to get back to my day-to-day -day life. I reached out to the Illinois attorney handling this case for Luke Combs, and I have not yet heard back. It is unclear whether Combs himself is even aware of this case. Nicole shared an email with me that she sent to Combs' attorney apologizing and asking for help getting access to her Amazon account again. She tells me she has received no response yet. I have so many questions mm -hmm. here. Uh, what are the next steps? Is she able to get back on Amazon and start making a living again? And what happens if she can't pay this money? Well, as far as Amazon goes, that looks very unlikely as the account is frozen for her to withdraw any of her proceeds so she'll be working for free. The attorney I spoke with recommends that she reach out to the judge in this case and to Combs' attorney again. He said it is still possible for a change of heart, and that's what we're hoping for here. So you're saying we should holler at Luke Combs and maybe exactly. he'll know about it and we can set things straight. Yes.